Hey guys, Ticker Box here. This video is all about Vaxart, but it's only for those who are bearish on Vaxart. If you are looking for hope or whether you want to buy more Vaxart, this is not the video for you. This video is for informational purposes only. It does not constitute financial advice. Note that all investments involve some form of risk. Always remember to make smart decisions and do your own research. I just wanted to shed some light on Vaxar has a biotech company trying to make an oral tablet for the prevention of COVID-19. Vaxar stock plunge from $23.33 to a low of $13.70. That was over 50% drop in one day. So I'm sure a lot of you heard the news about the lack of antibodies form after the ingestion of the Vaxar tablet. Why don't we look at what's in the pipeline for Vaxar and whether their whole idea of oral tablets is actually feasible. Right now, Vaxar is working on four prophylactic vaccines. That means it's a preventive vaccine for the norovirus, influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, and COVID-19. If you can see in their own website, all of them are on phase one except respiratory syncytial virus, that one is in the preclinical phase, which means it's not even phase one, it's way behind. Phase one is the phase where they give just about 30 healthy volunteer patients the medication to check for safety and tolerability. It is fascinating to see how Vaxart has their own delivery platform. They have their own adenovirus type vector that delivers the medication through the mucosal epithelium of the small bowel. Although the idea is fascinating, they have not shown that it works. So I am not saying that an oral tablet cannot be used as an oral vaccine to prevent diseases. There are several that are being used around the world. In this table from the National Institute of Health, you can see the ones that are right now licensed for use. In this case, polio, which is an enterovirus, it lives in the mouth and intestine of an infected person. Remember this, not in the respiratory system. Number two, there's typhoid fever vaccine, and you can also see cholera. These are bacterial infections. There's Rotarix and Rotatec, which are for gastroenteritis and they are viruses, but these are designed for infants only. And we have to remember that infants versus adults, their gastrointestinal system is wildly different from ours. From the thickness of the mucosal lining and the pH, etc. And lastly, there's a vaccine for acute respiratory disease, but this is only labeled for military populations. And they are enteric coated tablets, but it's an adenovirus, not a coronavirus. So there are no coronaviruses oral vaccines to this date. So let's look at all the vaccines that are in the works around the world right now. You know about Novavax, you know about GlaxoSmithKline. Of course, Pfizer and Moderna are the ones being given right now. Janssen, Sinovac, CureVac, they're still working on their vaccine. And all of these countries have already put in their orders for the vaccines. The only two vaccines that are authorized and recommended to prevent COVID-19 right now is the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. These three vaccines right here, they're still in the phase three of the clinical trial, AstraZeneca, Janssen, and Novavax. And just, I think yesterday, Johnson & Johnson put in a request for emergency use of their COVID-19 vaccine. But this shows that 
Vaxxer is way behind in the vaccine development and even if their vaccine is effective, you know, by the time they do phase one, phase two, and phase three, and they get FDA emergency approval, most of the world will already have gotten their vaccine or we would have reached herd immunity. As of February 4th yesterday, about 35,200,000 doses have been given in the United States already. So let's talk a little bit about what happened to Vaxxer stock to drop over 50% the other day. Number one, the vaccine induced a high percentage of responding CD8 T cells against the spikes and the nuclear protein. So when Vaxxer was talking about their multiple immune responses from the COVID tablet, they meant there was a CD8 cytotoxic T cell response. There was also pro-inflammatory cytokines and the IgA response was also notable. But at the end of the day, none of this matter because neutralizing antibodies were not detected in the serum and IgG responses were not detected in most subjects. It means the Vaxxer tablet failed to cause an immune response that we wanted, which is antibodies that will respond to the coronavirus infection and fight for us. The moment these news came out, the stock plunged significantly and honestly from this point i don't see it recovering unless there's a major short squeeze but in terms of vaxar's future as a provider for oral vaccines for coronaviruses it's looking very slim let's take a quick look at the short interest data this is from January 15, so we're a little behind, but on this date, it was about 30%. After the bad news that we received from Vaxxar, the number might increase and might cause, if enough people buy the stock, it might cause a short squeeze, but that is highly unlikely after we saw what happened with Wall Street bets and the platforms limiting the purchase of certain stocks they can do that again so if you don't know if you should keep holding or buy more or, or sell at a loss the best thing that you can do is just hold if you want to average down i wouldn't recommend it you can put your money into stocks that can give you faster and better returns than put it on a company that's way behind on working on a vaccine for COVID-19 and a company that has of right now does not have any actual working vaccine out there. If you found this video a little bit helpful, hit the like button and Give me a comment on whether you agree with me. Are you buying more Vaxxar or do you think this is going to actual, actually be a, a working tablet for COVID-19 or other coronaviruses? Or are you gave up and you're just going to go get the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine and move on with your life? Thank you so much for watching and have a nice weekend.